Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another Super Mario Brothers video, and today, very stoked, hot off the heels of the official announcement of Wave 2 for the Super Mario Brothers movie toys from Jack Specific. I walked into Target this morning, and lo and behold, boom, Tanuki Mario was sitting right there, so I was very stoked, picked him up, 20 bucks, usual, from Wave 1 to Wave 2 now, $20 figures, you get the idea. All over the box, you got really nice photos of the Tanuki Mario. And on the back side, he's doing his little video game flutter hover kick, right? Realistic eyes, premium details, 15 POA. We'll see about that, right? Here's the barcode. Like I said, these are hitting stores a little bit early, but if you like, you can find them now at Target. Now, for those of you out there that have no friggin' clue what the heck I'm talking about, the Tanuki suit hails from the original Super Mario Brothers 3 game, the biggest, most exciting Super Mario Brothers adventure yet. It happens when Mario gets a hold of a Super Leaf and then boom, transforms into Tanuki Suit Mario. There are variations on the suit, basically Mario with a raccoon tail and then a full-blown suit that can then turn into a statue. It is based off of the actual Japanese Tanuki, which is a raccoon dog, basically. So it's not officially a raccoon as... We all just kind of say anyways, but thanks to my friends over at Tree Hugger, you can read up on this because I learned all kinds of crazy facts about a Tanuki. <laughs> so now you can too if you want to screen grab this. Also, like I said, Jack Specific officially announced Wave 2 this morning and Tanuki Suit Mario will join Kamek, Cat Suit Mario, and of course Princess Peach in her Mario Kart attire. I really like that blue shell right there. Also, they're going to be doing more 1.5 inch minifigures, part of the whole Question Block series. So it totally digs that. Along with new playsets. So you got Bowser's floating airship sort of deal, and then you have the whole Donkey Kong arena. I'm stoked. Looking forward to these new toys ASAP. Come middle of July-ish, right? So, in the meantime, we're going to have fun with this one. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new, the Super Mario Brothers movie, Wave 2, the Tanuki Suit Mario from Jack Pacific. And while I got all you Tanukis here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee I'll have you figuring out why you're wearing a bear suit. Now, here's Tanuki Suit Mario all out of the packaging. You get one accessory. He's a little light on the accessories, and I'll talk about more on that in just a few. But in regards to the Super Leaf, looks good on the front, but they really went out of whack and didn't stay within the color lines on the back side. They went every which way right there. The front looks good though. That's what counts. You got the eyes, little white dots. It's fine for a Super Leaf. And if you're wondering, Tanuki Suit Mario can hold the Super Leaf, although it kind of have to fidget it within his fingers. It's not great. The actual figure looks pretty good, right? He's got lots of texture detail. He's got the eyes that follow you around the room. He's kind of giving me Lost Boys, Disney animated Peter Pan vibes, right? A little bit. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, the paint for what is there is painted fairly well. They even painted the bottom of the feet yellow, which is nice to see. On the back side, he has his honeycomb tail, which totally reminds me of Super Mario Galaxy, right? With the honeybee suit. It's a little bit too honeybee-ish, right? But if you look at the movie, it does fit really what you see on the screen, even though the yellow is a little bit too bee-ish, right? Now, he's very textured out. He looks like he's got some fur on him. So it looks good in that sense. I like what they did there. Not a huge fan of what they kind of did with the articulation points, though. Some of it would be kind of... Yeah, I wish it didn't really look like that. You know what I mean? For a $20 figure, you got to consider that as well. Now, it does have a lot of articulation points, and I like what you can pose him as, but there are some odd choices, especially in the arm joints, we'll say. It really does break up the cool fur texture pattern of the suit, right? Just kind of odd. I wish they did it a little bit differently. Also, you'll notice he's got pins in the legs, but he's pinless in the arms. So go figure on that. Now the head, this is where I think Jax really needs to elevate some of their articulation points. You can't get him to look up, which kind of negates the whole flying aspect of the Tanuki suit. You can look left and right all day, but up and down, 
would have been great. So he's always just kind of flying and looking forward, right? You got plenty of articulation in the arms, no problems there. He's got single joints and you can spin him at the gloves. Now he does have articulation at the waist, but you're going to have to realign it every time you want to move it because of the pattern on his stomach, right? It doesn't hinder the tail. The tail hinders itself all on its own, right? It will spin, but then again, it has no articulation to make it do like that. What the, what the, what the, what, you know, uh, up and down. That would have been kind of cool to fit the whole... You know, the tanuki suit kind of situation. You got plenty of articulation in the legs. It doesn't have anything at the thigh, but he does have single jointed knees. I thought it spun at the knee, but it doesn't. If you get in there and look, you're definitely stressing a joint. So be careful on that. You have feet articulation. It doesn't rock, but he's got big clod hopper feet, which I do appreciate. So the feet and the arms are fine. It's just these other articulation points that are kind of lagging for me. But if you want to get him into more of a walking slash running pose you can totally achieve that. And he's pretty sturdy in this position, especially when you want to jump onto a Goomba. Now, this is where a flight stand really would have come in handy, right? The whole flying aspect of the Tanuki suit, hovering aspect, should have had a really cool flight stand. And I think that's a big bummer because for the price tag, yeah, you're getting a new figure, you get one accessory, but there needs to be a little bit more in the box. You really got to pack stuff in there. Come on, Jax. Now, in terms of his scalature with the previously released Wave 1, he's a little bit taller than the standard Mario. Now, I know he's wearing a suit and everything else, but he kind of really does stay the same, right? In the movie, he's supposed to be a little bit shorter than Luigi. Now they're the same size. He's a little bit out of scale. We'll just say it's not a big deal, though. It's like, okay, whatever. And just to show you a little bit of scalature from some other Marios in my collection, from Lego to SH Figure Arts to standard video game jacks, and then... Total knockoff Cowboy Mario. Yeah, you see the difference in height between this video game and the Super Mario Brothers movie. It's definitely distinguishable, right? And if you're wondering how he scales with other brands, other lines, from Playmates and NECA Toys' Ninja Turtles to Jax's World of Nintendo Samus, he's going to run on the big side. So just keep that in mind. Also, for those wondering, yes, I did pull out the Beetlejuice, and now you can see exactly how he scales with this old Burger King toy. You're welcome. Now, recently, just to kind of pad this video a little bit, right? I did recently come across the new 2.5 inch Princess Peach, the Walmart checkout stand. So be checking those if you're looking. On the back side, you can see the other characters within this wave. Now, she's a little bit different. It's not a whole lot of different, but I can honestly tell you, she definitely does look good. Nice paint overall. She doesn't have any articulation in the head because of her hair. Her arms will go up and down. She does have waist, and I went through all of them. It's not a hiccup, it's not a defect, nothing like that. She actually has some waist crunch to her, which does leave her kind of gappy though. You can kind of push it down, you can try that aspect. It's not gonna do anything, but like I said, if you get a chance, you get to go through a few of them on the checkout stand. Make sure you get yourself a good looking one. She's got little tiny feet. You can do the whole McDonald's spinny thing if you want. But in either case, I like the old one. I like the new one too. Not a whole heck of a lot of difference. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Jack Specific straight from the Super Mario Brothers movie Wave 2 toy line to Nuki Suit Mario. Absolutely loved what they did with Wave 1. Nailed it. Hands down. It was a lot of fun. I absolutely love the Super Mario Brothers movie. It was a friggin' great movie. What an awesome time that was, right? All four figures, pretty darn good, but the standout is Bowser. It's one of the best figures of 2023, hands down. But in regards to Tanuki Suit Mario, you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Super Mario Brothers. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, speaking of... I am absolutely stoked on Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Cannot wait for that. Also, the remake of RPG. It's going to be a great holiday with the Super Mario Brothers and Nintendo peeps. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. <laughs>